Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about how Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol handles network topology change with the proposal agreement process. First, let's check a BPDU flex field used in the Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. BPDU flex field in Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol is different from the same field in the standard STP. In the standard version, only two of eight bits in the flex field are used. One is for topology change and one is for topology change acknowledgement. In Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, every bit is used. In addition to topology change and topology change acknowledgement, we can see much more information such as port row, learning, forwarding, proposal and agreement. Keep in mind, Spanning Tree Protocol, regardless of its versions and flavors, uses BPDUs as a communications vehicle to exchange messages between switches. With the BPDUs, switches could be able to understand each other. Now let's talk about how Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol reacts to a network topology change. As I mentioned before, Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol does not rely on BPDU timers for network convergence. Instead, it uses proposal agreement process to deal with network changes. Let's use one example to demonstrate how it works. In the example, we must assume that the two conditions are true. 1. All links between switches are point-to-point -point links. 2. All switches are running Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. This is a stable, loop-free network with three switches. Switch 1 is the road bridge. Designated ports and road ports are properly assigned. Everything works fine. Now a workstation is connected to switch 3. Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol immediately create an edge port in the forwarding state for that node. Keep in mind, in the Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol network, adding or removing edge ports does not change any network topology. Now suppose we have a new switch, switch 4, and we connect it to both switch 1 and switch 3. Adding any new switch to a stable network would cause topology change and the Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol would react to this change. Here is how proposal agreement process starts. First, these two ports are set in the discarding state before switch 1 and 4 start their negotiations or handshake. Switch 1 sends a BPDU with information like a path cost, bridge ID and etc. What does it propose? Basically, switch 1 would say to switch 4, Hello, I am the road bridge. I propose that my port is a designated port and your port should be road port. Something like this. When switch 4 gets the BPDU, it believes it is a better or superior BPDU. But before it replies with agreement, switch 4 needs to do one important thing, blocking all other non-edge ports. This step is called synchronization. Synchronization is a process that the switch blocks all non-edge ports before sending an agreement to another switch. Synchronization is needed to make sure no loop is created during the proposal agreement process. Once the synchronization starts, switch 4 sends its agreement message to the road bridge. Once the road bridge gets this agreement, a new link is established 
with a proper designated port and a root port. The synchronization stops for this link. Now, Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol moves on to work on the next link between switch 3 and switch 4. Basically, the process between switch 3 and switch 4 is repeating all steps we just saw. First, both ports are set to the discarding state. Then the switch 4 sends its proposal to switch 3. When switch 3 gets its proposal, it believes that switch 4's proposal is good and acceptable, which means switch 3's best path to the road bridge is through switch 4. Then synchronization starts. Switch 3 blocks all non-edge ports. In this case, only this one port is blocked. Other two edge ports do not change. Once the synchronization starts, switch 3 replies with agreement to switch 4. Once switch 4 gets the agreement, a new link is established between switch 3 and switch 4 with a properly assigned designated port and root port. The synchronization stops. Now let's see the next link. But this time, it is a little bit different. When switch 3 sends its proposal and switch 2 disagrees, because it has already the best path to the road bridge and its road port is already elected. Quickly, both switch 2 and switch 3 realize that the link between them should be blocked to prevent any loop. Thus, this port is elected as designated port, and this port is elected as alternate port. The proposal agreement process stops, and a new loop-free topology is achieved. In summary, Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol proposal agreement process is very quick because does not depend on traditional BPDU timers as the standard STP does. Instead, a switch negotiates its neighbors directly. Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol provides faster topology change detection and much faster convergence time than the standard Spanning Tree Protocol. That's why it is widely used in a large network with the many switches. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much and see you next time.